As a rule, animals eat plants, but some plants can change roles with them. Approximately 650 species of plants and some fungi attract and digest animals, mostly insects, but sometimes larger prey. At first glance, this is so contrary to the natural order of things that Carl Linnaeus refused to believe it, even though these plants had already been sketched several times in his time. With the publication of Charles Darwin's classic monograph on the subject in 1875, they became better known to the world. Darwin called them insectivores, but it is now known that the range of animal foods on their menu is somewhat wider, and they prefer to be called carnivores. Nepenthes distillatoria, native to Sri Lanka, is one of the first carnivorous plants described in Botanica Literatory at the end of the 17th century. In Sri Lanka, its stems are traditionally woven into ropes for teeing livestock. Carnivorous plants are found throughout the world and belong to several unrelated groups. These are plants that hunt in a variety of ways, actively or passively, to get their lunch. They often grow in humid places, but some have adapted to dry climates. Some, like the Venus flytrap, secrete a sticky substance that attracts prey, after which they slam the trap shut. Others emit an attractive scent. Nepenthes, or pitcher plants, are so named because of their modified pitcher-shaped leaves. They are passive and simply rely on prey, attracted by scent or nectar to fall into the liquid contained within. Pitcher plants are very diverse in color, shape, and size. Some may hold up to two liters of water. Even rats get caught in them. The liquid inside the pitcher, although often diluted with rainwater, is naturally acidic. Carnivorous plants of Asia belong to the genus Pitcher plants. It includes approximately 110 species, growing in the tropics from India to northern Australia, but most of them are concentrated in the Malay archipelago. A noticeable craze for these plants in Europe began at the end of the 18th century, when they began to be brought from distant countries. In the Victorian era, they were grown in greenhouses, and the main task of gardeners was to reproduce suitable conditions for a particular species, depending on where it naturally grows. Trade in all Nepenthes species is now controlled. In the New World, there is also a family of plants that have formed similar traps for animals. These include Californian Darlingtonia and several other species of the Saracenia family. However, there are some exceptions. Mosquitoes, insensitive to the digestive enzymes of one of the species, use jugs of liquid as an aquarium for larvae, 